Okay, we have another problem here for total charge inside a volume adapted from height. A uniform volume charge density of 0.2 microcoulomb per cubic meter is present throughout the spherical shell standing from radius 3 cm to radius 5 cm. If the volume charge density is zero elsewhere, find letter A the total charge present throughout the shell and letter B. R1 if half the total charge is located in the region 3 cm to R1. So that's all for part A. We know that the total volume or the total charge inside the volume is the integral of the charge density, volume charge density times the differential volume integrated all throughout the volume. The Volume charge density is given, which is 0 0.2 times 10 raised to negative 6 columns per cubic meter. And for a spherical coordinate system, the differential volume dv is equal to r squared sine of theta d theta r d, dr, sorry. Okay. Wala namang kaso, pero kasi nakamultiply naman siya, pero gusto ko lang siya nakarange. dr, d theta, and d phi. Okay, what are the limits? Since a sphere siya, sabi niya, spherical, uh, spherical shell, the limits for dr would be in the given 3 centimeters to 5 centimeters converted into meters. So that would be 0 0.03 to 0 0.05. The limits of theta would be from 0 to 2, 0 to pi for a complete sphere. And the, d phi, the limits of d phi is from 0 to 2 pi again for a complete sphere. Therefore, our total charge would be the limits for phi or phi, the limits for theta, and the limits for r converted into meters times or the integral of the volume charge density, which is a constant. Luckily, it is not a function of any of the variables then times differential volume okay because the volume charge density is a constant property of integration pwede natin itong ilabas we can factor this out and then since r squared and sine theta are two separate functions so we we can we, ex, we can express this triple integral we can express it, this triple integral as a product so factoring out the constant then multiplying by let's start with r squared dr from 0 0.03 to 0 0.05 multiply 2 for theta we have sine theta d theta from integrated from 0 to pi and we have the integral of d phi from 0 to 2 pi Okay, you can directly solve this in your calculator since they are integrals in one variable or in one function. So, if we would input, of course, there's a adding um calculator wala yung mga variables na theta and v so palitan mo na lang siya ng x kasi naka automatic yung integral sa calculator naka x squared so yung integral na r squared dr from 0 0.03 to 0 0.05 ay equal to 49 to be exactly 
to be exact, all over 1,500,000 times the integral of sine theta d theta from 0 to pi is 2 and the integral of d phi from 0 to 2 pi is 2 pi. Simplifying this equation, you would get 81 or 82.1 times 10 raised to negative 12, which is also equal to <coughs> pico, pico column. Okay, that is the answer for part A. For part B, papalitan lang natin yung sobrang, yung limits. Sabi niya, kalahati daw ng charges na to, yung nakuha natin sa part A, ay nasa limit ng 3 cm sa punta hanggang R1. So what is R1? So, for letter B, <coughs> our tawagin na natin, total charge Q prime is equal to 1 half the total charge of the sphere from 3 centimeters to 5 centimeters. And this charge is Q prime is evaluated from radius 3 centimeters to R1. And inahanap natin si R1. <coughs> So, one half, what is Q? We have already solved it from part A. And this is equal to okay, same process as part A. However, change natin yung limits. So, dito na ako sa bandang dito. So, papalitan natin yung limits ng dr, and that is from 0 0.03 to r1. Then, other integrals or integration are the same. So, integral of d phi from 0 to 2 pi. And... <laughs> Of course, we would get the same answer here as 2, and here is 2 pi. However, here since variable si R1, or unknown si R1, we have the integral of R squared is R cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 0.023 to R1. Don't forget the volume charge density and one half of 82.1 is 41.0505 times 10 raised to negative 12. So I will divide everything except para makancel out. At may one lang yung R1 dun sa kabila. Times 2 times 2 pi is 4 pi. Okay. Divide natin dito. Divide time now. Two times two pi. Para makancel out yung mga nasa taas. Ayan. Okay. Then, what we will have is, pag simplify na natin to, kukuha natin is one-third. So, dapat nag-multiply nag na rin tayo ng 3, pero okay lang. R1 cube minus 0 0.03 cube. 
this is equal to yung left side kanina na napunta na sa right side ay magiging point okay, nagde-divide ako ngayon nung mga nasa baba times 4 pi this is 4, ay 49 over 3 million okay, to be exact 49 all over 3 million then simplifying further cross multiply natin si 3 doon and ililipat natin si 0 0.03 cube so makukuha natin is 0 0.03 cubed plus 49 times 3 divided by 3 million which is equal to 19 all over 250,000 then we get the cube root and the cube root Sorry. And cube root. So, ang R1 natin become cube root na answer. Zero point zero four two three, or that is in meters. That is equivalent to 4.23 centimeters. So, ayan na po yung final answer. Thank you for listening.